am Donna Wolf from Nastasia.com. Today, I'll show you how to crochet the Tunisian strawberry stitch. You'll need some worsted weight yarn and a size K Tunisian hook. To begin, with green yarn, chain 23 or any multiple of 4 plus 3. That first loop counts as your first stitch. In each chain, insert the hook and draw up a loop. This is called the Tunisian simple stitch. For the return pass, yarn over and take off just one loop for the edge. Then for all other stitches, yarn over and take off two loops. Yarn over and take off two loops. When you get to the last two loops, take some red yarn and finish the stitch. Leave the green yarn hanging down. That first loop is your first stitch. Draw up loops in the next two front bars. Under this next bar, we're going to make five double crochet stitches, but we're not going to finish them. One, two, three, four. and five. That's the bottom part of the berry. In the next three bars, we're going to draw up a loop. And three. And in the next bar, we're going to do that five double crochet Tunisian stitch. One, Two, three, four, and five. Draw up a loop in the next three bars. Continue with the five double crochet and then the three loops across. At the end, you'll have three bars remaining. Draw up a loop in each one. Now for the return pass, take off just one loop for the edge. And for all other stitches, yarn over and take off two loops. Yarn over and take off two loops. You are going to take off two loops over each one of those berry stitches as well. When you get to the end, grab the green yarn again from the bottom and use it to finish the last stitch. Since we started the red row with three loops, we're going to start the green row with three loops as well. One, two, and three. Now, over the five double crochet, we're going to do five Tunisian knit stitches, then draw them all together. Tunisian knit stitches go through the stitch like this. One, two, three, four, and five. Then yarn over and draw through the five loops you just made. And chain one. There's your first berry. Next, look for those three loops from the previous row. Make one Tunisian simple stitch in each one. One, two, and three. And over the berry stitches, we're going to do the five Tunisian knit stitches together stitch. 
One, two, three, four, and five. Yarn over and pull through. Chain one. Then, in between all of the berries, we're going to draw up three loops with our Tunisian simple stitch. At the end, because we started with three loops, we'll end with three loops. Then, begin the process of the return pass which removes the loops from the hook. Switch over to the red yarn. To stagger the strawberries, this time we're going to do five Tunisian simple stitches first. One, two, and three. For the fourth stitch, place your hook in the middle of the previous chain one. And five. Find the three loops. And in that middle one, we're going to do our five double crochet stitches. But not in the green row. Instead, in the red row from below. One. Two. Three. four, and five. Then in the green row, do the three loops. One, two, and three. And then in the middle of the three loops from below, make the five double crochet stitches. And then in between all of the berries, we do the three simple stitch loops. At the end, because we began with the five Tunisian simple stitch loops, we're going to end with five Tunisian simple stitch loops. And then for our return pass, just take stitches off our hook as we did before. Switch over to the green. Because we started with five Tunisian simple stitches, we're going to need five loops on our hook to start this row. And then over the five double crochet from the previous row, we're going to do our five Tunisian knit stitch togethers. Four. And five. And chain one. And do three loops in between the berries. Continue across the row. Because we began with the five loops, we're going to end this row with five loops as well. And then for the return pass, take loops off the hook as we have before. For this next berry row, we're going to do what we did for the first set of berries. This time, we begin with three Tunisian simple stitch loops. And then do our five double crochet stitches. One, two, three, four, and five. We'll be alternating berries throughout the pattern. Be sure to check out my website, Nastasia.com, for a chart on making the strawberry stitch.